Hey, it's Andrew with Car Cam Central. As promised, we're back with our premium front back camera recommendations for 2018 so far. These cameras represent the best of what's available in performance, features, and customer support. We researched many cameras and spent over $2,000 of our own money to purchase promising cameras and accessories. By buying all the cameras ourselves, we try to be as bias free as possible. After extensive hands on testing, we have three recommendations. Starting with our great value pick is the $290 USD Street Guardian SG9663 DC. It's over $100 cheaper than our other choices while delivering excellent day and night footage. You get a two year warranty and many extra accessories over cameras from Thinkware and Blackview. For those focused on parked recording, get the $380 Thinkware F800 Pro. It's the most energy efficient camera we tested and has useful parking features not found on other cameras. For those looking for the best video quality, I will get the $480 Blackview DR900S. It's 4K front camera, it's significantly sharper than any other camera I've seen during the day. Its internet cloud features allow you to view a live video stream, get push notifications on impacts and more while away from your vehicle. There's a lot to talk about. Hope you're excited as we are about these cameras. Starting with the basics, all three have loop recording and auto record when power is received. They use capacitors, not lithium ion batteries for better heat resistance. They have Wi-Fi and GPS features. Finally, the basic installation doesn't require tools. They're also dual channel front back cameras. The second camera attaches to your rear windshield using adhesives. Blackview and Thinkware have a similar cylindrical design. Street Guardian is wedge shaped. From our testing, all three are functionally similar. In all designs, there's a 20 foot cable with an easy plug and play connection that sends video to the front camera. Hiding this wire will take some time, but it's not complicated. We like to explain, but it'll take too long. Some resources will be linked in the description. So you might ask why you spent over $300 on a premium camera, when we have recommendations for half the price. One reason is reliability. They have better components, assembly, and quality control. Their customer service will be smoother. There will also be features like cloud recording, spoken notifications, reliable parking modes that are often not available on cheaper cameras. Premium cameras also look nicer, which for some drivers, especially luxury vehicle owners, is quite important. These cameras aren't right for everyone, and we acknowledge the diminishing returns for your money. Still, for those who want the best, this video is for you. Let's begin with the $290 Street Guardian SG9663DC. It's our great value pick, not just for the cheaper price, but also its crisp video quality, two-year warranty, and Street Guardian's history in producing reliable, heat-resistant cameras with good customer service. Starting with the body, it's wedge shaped and while stealthy, it lacks the refined design of Blackview or Thinkware. It's not unsightly, but there's not much to look at either. In return, the setup is much easier as you don't need a smartphone. It's the only camera out of the three to have an LCD screen. You can do everything using the camera controls. The SG9663DC is quite a bit cheaper than our other picks. The base price includes a decent 64 gigabyte card. Blackview and Thinkware give you a smaller card. The cheaper price doesn't mean worse performance or accounts. Starting with video quality, overall, it's pretty great. The front camera is sharp with excellent dynamic range and edge sharpness. There is the occasional issue with exposure, but Street Guardian is releasing firmware updates all the time. At night, it's excellent. The sharpness and clarity is near the top for dual channel cameras and approaches what we've seen in single lens cameras. Looking at the rear camera footage, it's the best we've seen in a dual lens camera for both day and night recordings. Overall, you will be happy with these Street Guardian's performance. Rather than spending time in detailed video comparisons, we'll post more on our second channel if you're interested. Let's look at the SG's accessories. Normally it's not important, but there's a shocking contrast between the Spartan amounts with Blackview and Thinkware versus what Street Guardian includes. Notably with SG, you get a circular polarizer which reduces glare from light bouncing off the dashboard. For Android phones, there's a micro USB card reader for faster file transfers and an extra short rear cable for overhead liner installations. Street Guardian gives you three extra set of adhesives. In comparison, Blackview and Thinkware have one, which is ridiculous considering their cost. Even cheap cameras give you at least two. 
One downside to Street Guardian is the external GPS dongle. It's one extra item to install if you want to log your speed, position, and for better time calibration, but it's not large or hard to install. As well, Street Garden is a smaller company with less resources. While they greatly invested into their after sale support, their technical development has lagged behind. The camera has Wi Fi to change settings and access save videos, but you'll need to use a third party app such as Novacam or DLD Tech. They work, but the experience wasn't good as you lack the full range of customizations found on the camera itself. The download speed is the slowest of the three cameras. It takes 5 minutes to download a 3 minute video. Streaming save videos isn't smooth. Playback stutters or has to buffer constantly depending on the app. As this is Street Guardian's first Wi-Fi camera, we think this may improve with future firmware updates. Looking at Street Guardian's time-lapse parking mode, we found it works much better. You need to install the optional $30 hardwiring cable which connects the camera to your vehicle's battery through the fuse box. There's a switch that selects the voltage cutoff which prevents your battery from being fully drained. The insulation process goes beyond what we can cover in this video. As a summary, there are two power leads. You connect one to a constantly on circuit like your dome lights, the other to a switch circuit like your 12 volt car socket. Professional help may be needed. This allows the camera to sense when the vehicle is off and automates parking mode. Unlike cheaper cameras, you won't need to go into the menu and turn it on and off yourself. When active, the camera will record 1, 2, or 5 frames of video every second depending on the setting. This reduces file size and energy requirements, meaning longer recording times. The Street Guardian isn't as versatile a parking camera as the Thinkware F800, but it does a good, reliable job. Unfortunately, Street Guardian doesn't have spoken notifications. When it starts up, you'll hear beeps instead of a pre-recorded voice message. Blackview and Thinkware use spoken status notifications, which sound more refined and improves clarity. Blackview for your safe driving. Starting normal recording. One issue is that the 9663 lacks an audio warning for failed SD cards. You have to look at the LCD screen directly. You can miss that your camera has stopped recording, especially if it's covered by the rear view mirror. We hope Street Guardian releases a firmware fix in the future. Fortunately, I think Street Guardian's strongest asset is their customer service and community engagement. We found their team works quickly to look after issues. One example, their CEO frequently interacts with the Dashcam Talk community to get feedback, handle complaints, and to explain product updates. Also, they are the only premium camera to provide a two-year warranty versus the standard one-year once you register it online. This is a big deal as cameras can fail over time. It gives us great comfort that Street Guardian stands behind their products. While Thinkware and Blackview are no slouches, I think with Street Guardian's size, they have had disproportionately big results. I'm happy to give them a strong recommendation as my great value pick. Next, let's look at the $380 Thinkware F800 Pro. This is our recommendation for anyone looking for a great parking mode camera with better functionality and energy efficiency versus Street Guardian and Blackview. The user experience and design are also much better. Starting with the body, we find it more refined and sleek looking. The metal and plastic flow nicely together. It's a great looking camera without attracting attention if you're worried about thieves. There's no LCD screen so you need a smartphone or PC to change the settings. There's two models, the F800 and the F800 Pro which we tested. The Pro model has additional parking options, a stealthier appearance and internet functionality aka the cloud. Get the Pro as it was cheaper than the regular version of the F800 in September 2018. Looking at video quality, it was good but not great. The front camera is muddled during the day in comparison to the other cameras we tested. It'll still pick up license plates but it's not great at it. At night, the quality improves. It's about the same as the other cameras in this review. In my opinion, the changes in the last few years for video hardware has not improved low light recording very much. Looking at the rear camera, it's relatively better. The clarity and sharpness are good, both during the day and night. We did find there can be more pixelation in the detail-rich environments due to the lower 10 megabit per second bitrate. While the video quality is no longer best, the F800 has no equal for parked recording. Its energy efficiency and functionality are better than other cameras. Thinkware has three parking modes, all of them reliable and useful for different situations. Street Guardian and Blackview have less, limiting their versatility. Here's why that matters. Starting with motion detection mode, 
The F-800 will only record once it senses movement. Its buffered recording will save 10 seconds before and after motion was detected. This is great for less busy environments and it will give you the full picture of what happened. In comparison, the time-lapse mode will help jump your videos, but this is useful for busy parking lots so the camera won't be constantly recording big files and filling up your memory card quickly as what happened with motion detection mode. Lastly, only on the F800 Pro is the impact only mode. The camera stops recording and hibernates. When an impact is detected, it'll start recording one second after. You'll miss the shock, but you should capture what happens next. This mode uses three times less energy and is fantastic if you need the longest recording time possible. Another unique feature is the parking report after turning on your vehicle. During parking mode, event detection recording. Three occurred. This tells you the number of events, aka impacts, and saves you from having to walk around your car to check for damage. ThinkWare's parking mode requires installing a cable similar to Street Guardian. Instead of a cutoff switch, the F800 senses the voltage through internal circuitry. This allows you to use your smartphone and PC to customize the voltages the camera turns itself on and off. We found the app mostly easy to use. Compared to Street Guardian, the experience is much better. It's easy to change settings and view saved videos. Streaming was a smooth experience, and download speed is significantly faster than Street Guardian, taking 28 seconds to download a 1 minute 80 megabyte file. Unfortunately, the in app cloud functionality was hard to use and not useful for most features. ThinkWare's cloud uses the internet to provide additional functionality for the F800 Pro when connected to a Wi Fi hotspot. We found the feature set extremely limited, especially as it can only be used during normal and not parked recording. We also found the connection process difficult. The layout is not intuitive. While we connected on iOS, we have problems with Android. Even so, the cloud is used by few people. We don't think it takes away from its great parking mode the main reason to get the F800. In September 2018, if you're considering the F800, get the Pro model as it's surprisingly cheaper and has more features. Let's look at our third recommendation, the Blackview DR900S. This is the camera for users who want the best video quality and useful cloud features. Blackview is probably the most famous dash cam manufacturer in North America and Europe. We've been reviewing their cameras since they first entered the scene in 2012. The DR900S was released in May 2018. Its cylindrical design hasn't changed much in a few years. The lens is on the front and connection ports are on the side. The biggest changes are inside. The front sensor records at 4K or 3840 by 2160 p four times the resolution of the 1080p sensor in most cameras. We found the front camera has both the sharpest video we've seen during the day and a very wide 162 degree field of view. You capture more of the environment and details like license plates than any other camera we tested. At night, there's more noise compared to the Street Guardian camera, but the DR900 has similar sharpness and dynamic range. The rear camera also fell behind slightly even though it uses the more advanced Sony StarVis sensor compared to the older Sony Exmor on the Street Guardian. We think it has to do with the lower bitrate at 10 versus 15 megabits per second. One small issue, we noticed the rear camera loses a few video frames between files. While the impact is small, for a premium camera in 2018, we hope it will be fixed soon. The DR900S uses the newer H.265 video codec by default to improve video quality without increasing file size. The only downside is it requires more processing power to playback videos. Older smartphones and computers can struggle, which some users have complained about. The recording time is a bit reduced compared to other cameras. On a 64GB card at maximum quality, you'll get just over 4 hours before looping, but it should be long enough for most people. Fortunately, the DR900S has a faster AC speed Wi-Fi connection to download larger files. Using the iOS and Android app, we could download a 1 minute long 180 megabyte 4K video in 41 seconds. That's quite fast considering the size. The app was also easy to use. The layout has improved since we reviewed the DR650 GW. It's the best of all the Wi-Fi apps we tested so far. Simple to use and pleasantly designed. Let's talk about DR900's two parking modes. The chosen mode is activated when the camera senses that your car has not moved in 5 minutes. The buffered motion activated parking mode has been standard in Blackview for years. We found it reliable in picking up movement from cars and pedestrians. The new buffer time lapse mode is a great idea, recording at 1 FPS until it detects an impact and switches to a full 30 frames per second recording mode. 
you'll need to use the Blackview player to view this video as it doesn't work on VLC. The dr 900 s has a cloud mode, and unlike Thinkware's, it provides useful functionality while you're away from your vehicle. Its most popular use is remote monitoring of your parked vehicle. From anywhere, you can see a live view of your vehicle, download videos, and can push notify you when the camera is detecting an impact. Again, cloud features require internet access from a mobile hotspot or Wi-Fi router, as well as the camera being wired into a constant power source. The DR900S can take any hardwiring kit that ends in the standard cigarette outlet. No proprietary cable needed. We like the VicoVation Vico Plus for its voltage, temperature, and timer-based cutoffs. Unless you drive a truck, your vehicle's battery won't last more than a few hours as power consumption is quite high. One solution? Get a dash cam battery like the Celic Neo. At $300, it's not cheap, but that's because the Neo is built using temperature-stable lithium-iron phosphate batteries. We found it can power the DR900S for over 24 hours on a full charge. The Neo can send you runtime and other diagnostic information using the app. It recharges quickly around 45 minutes hardwired or 80 minutes through the slower cigarette outlet. One disappointment is the slow startup time at 26 seconds for power on to the start of recording, nearly double our other recommended cameras. You may have to wait in the parking lot before leaving. You might be tempted to buy a 4K dash cam to replicate the performance of the DR900S, but most are fake. 4K resolution requires a minimum 8 megapixel sensor. Many advertised 4K cameras have 4 megapixels or less. Other manufacturers cheat by upscaling the resolution using software, which has a minimal effect on quality. Overall, the DR900S will be a favor for many. It has great video quality and design with parking and cloud features that work. It's a nice upgrade over the Street Guardian camera and a fully premium experience we can get behind. If you're buying a premium camera, we recommend you avoid international and general retailers. The price isn't much cheaper and the warranty process is harder or non-existent for gray market sellers. Plus, there's less help in setting up your camera. We think a dash cam specialist is best. Our recommendation for United States and Canada is Black Box My Car. I think their knowledge of premium cameras and hardwiring is amazing. Plus, I've been watching their customer service for many years, and it's been solid so far. For disclosure, we have not been paid to recommend Black Box My Car, but we are affiliates. That means we get a percentage of any sales at no cost to you. We reinvest that money into the channel, for example, to buy all the cameras for this review. I don't want to sound like an ad or give the impression that there are no other good retailers. OCD Tronic is our recommendation for Street Guardian products. Based in the United States, they've been awesome with their customers. I would also check out Dashcam Store and capture your action. Nico, for the European market, is fantastic. While many of our recommended retailers are on Amazon, make sure you check who it's fulfilled or sold by. There are many unauthorized sellers who are internationally based and gray market, leaving you without a warranty. You also want to choose the right SD card to improve reliability. Writing videos to the card slowly damages the memory cells. Eventually, your camera will stop recording. Most cards on the market are designed for speed and not durability. On the left are our top choices. They last longer as they are specifically designed for dash cam use and have a warranty. On the right are our budget choices. They have a good reputation but are likely to fail earlier and there's no warranty when using dash cams. We have tested all these cards ourselves and they successfully work in the three recommended dash cams. Here's a summary screen for all three cameras we talked about. You can pause the video here if you want to read more. So this has been a long video. I appreciate your attention and hope this has been useful. We'll update the description below this video with any changes, good or bad. An article will be coming soon with the details we left out of this video, including cameras review and we don't like, are cameras that we think are good in limited situations like the Blackview DR750S. Subscribe for more and hit that bell button so you'll be notified when we release something new. Thanks for watching.